Hey guys, I'm Seth with uh, Kaiser Willys and Red Eye Garage. I'm here with uh, Russ Lawton, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his Willys wagon. So Russ, uh, what year is your Jeep? This is a 62. 62. Yeah. Okay. And um, what? Uh, tell us about how you got it or how you found the Jeep. I found it on the internet, uh, 2016, in Scottsdale, Arizona, and. Hopped on a plane, went out and bought it. Oh, like a flying so I, drive? Yeah, flying thing? drive, yeah. Wow. We test drove it around town there. And where do you live? Uh, Illinois. So that Eastern uh, Illinois. Quite a drive home. It was, uh, yeah. Wow. It took me like three days, I think. Wow. Any uh, <laughs> crazy adventures on that trip? I took some back roads that were uh, very scenic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was kind of brave in a strange vehicle yeah. that I didn't know anything about. So I stopped by AutoZone and bought a handful of tools and threw it in a toolbox. Never opened it. Wow. So it was pretty reliable right <laughs> out of the was, gate? It was. It was. It had the six-cylinder flathead in it at that time. It had overdrive. I made it to uh, Oklahoma City and the pickup tube in the tank was giving me problems. So I could only draw like 10 gallons of gas before I had to fuel yeah, up every time. Lots of stocks. So I gave up and rented a trailer and truck okay. and, and drove it the rest of the so you made it, made all, it all the rest way up. Cool. Yeah. Yep, stayed at some neat places and saw some pretty country. Very cool. Yep. Um, so since you bought it, what kind of modification? I know it's not it, quite stock No, anymore. it's not quite stock anymore. Um, after we went on the Alaska Rust trip, uh, met Joe Biedenkopf. Mm -hmm. He's a local here at Westminster. And we talked about it at the Willie Spring Show in 2018. We sat out in the parking lot to like 3 a.m. Okay. discussing how to uh, update it to make it more trip friendly okay. so we could travel, get out on the interstate, cover some ground quicker. We went with a uh, 350 throttle body injected mm -hmm. and a 700R4 automatic transmission and a Dana 300 transfer case. Okay. Haven't got around to getting the front drive shaft put back oh, in yeah, yet. Oh so running two wheel drive. Two, two wheel drive, yeah. and uh, big big difference. You yeah. just it'll start Time any weather down. anytime. You just hit the key and it goes. Okay, very cool. So we've done several trips in it now. Uh, he finished he finished it in 2020. I flew out, so we had to take it on a test run. We went out to Ocean City mm -hmm. for the, the uh, Jeep event out there that weekend. Drove it back home uh, to Westminster Wism at Joe's place. Did a few more little tune up, tune fine tuning. Tune yeah. yeah, it was yeah. kind of a, uh, a test run. Okay. So we did that and I drove it home 2020. This makes our third trip back out. Wow. Driving it, not hauling it. That was the big thing. Not, yeah. No not, to, not to trailer it yeah. anymore. <clears throat> so we've driven it to. Uh, uh, we've got a favorite show we like to do in, in Houston Woods, the Jeep Rally. Okay. So we drive it to that every year. And uh, we went to the fall reunion in Missouri. Yeah. Good little show there. Yeah, what's always impressed me is you guys just pop up. You know, everyone else is coming in on trailers and you roll in just driving it. Yep. Um, yep. And then you won the uh, longest travel award at some of these shows. Yes, we did make it to um, the Willys, Great Willie's Picnic. Yep. And nice. got the most distance traveled. Yeah, it was a 14, cool. 1400 mile round wow. trip from there. So, so now your Alaska rust trip, do you know how many miles total? And you, you from, didn't trailer for we that? Did, we, right? No, we, I took the uh, Jeepster that I had. Oh, okay. And uh, we hauled it, okay. uh, which was a good thing. Yep. It broke down on us. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so from doorstep back to the same doorstep was 7,000 miles. Wow. Uh, that was 2017 when we did that and a group of us uh, over dinner one night in Fairbanks decided we needed to go up to step foot inside the Arctic Circle. Oh yeah. So the, the truck that we hauled the Jeepster with, we hauled extra fuel mm -hmm. and uh, we used every bit of that fuel on the Dalton oh, Highway. Uh, yeah, that's a long ways it between was, stops. It was a long way. Yeah. Very cool. Yep. Um, and now going forward in the future, do you have any other modifications you uh, have planned for it? Besides the front well, drive shaft? Front drive shaft. <laughs> I've got some uh, different axles to put under it to okay. get more modern brakes okay. all the are way these around. Are wagon axles? It, 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 are, it is. It's okay. uh, the 527. They are. Uh, okay. We updated the front. He put a set of uh, calipers on, disc brakes okay. on the front. Very cool. So it stops good. We did do a uh, hydro boost. Okay. A little that, more stop. Yeah, you're going faster now with the small yes. block Chevy. and It was worth the... Yeah. Little less the, stopping. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, it stops on a dime. Very yeah. cool. 
Yep. Thank you. We usually have a, a teardrop trailer we camp yeah, with. Yeah, senior camping yep, trailer. Yep. Well, we didn't bring it this trip. Yeah. We, we hoteled it this year. All right, Very Russell, cool. thank you for talking to us today. Um, this is from Kaiser Willys. Oh, well, and it's a thank you. Gift. Thank you for the video. Uh, yep. And thank I want to see you again at another show. Yep. Keep it running, and I'll yep, look forward will. to seeing that front drive shaft next yes, time. Yes, yep. <laughs> and maybe I can do your slow crawl. Yep, there you go. Thank you very much. Yep, no problem. Thank you.